Hey guys, welcome to the next video here on So So Many Things 2000's channel. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you what you need for your new hamster. And also, stay tuned tomorrow because I will be showing you my trip to the pet store to get my new hamster. Um, so I will have two hammies. Um, so yeah, um, I'm buying it with my own money. Um, I'm looking to get a dwarf hamster kit so I don't got to spend too much money because I only got $46. Dwarf hamster kit comes with, or it comes with... You know, it's a care fresh store fans to get it. Hopefully have it. It's uh twenty five dollars. It comes with the cage, comes with a wheel, comes with a food dish, a water bottle, two sticks, uh two toys, um care fresh batting and yeah, and I'll probably get an extra thing to get that care fresh batting if I have enough left over. Um it's looking to be about fifty I mean forty dollars um for everything. Um, after a little bit of tax, hopefully. So, um, after tax, I'm looking at probably spending about 40 to $43, and I have 46 so, um, we'll see. But, um, sorry about the bad video quality and the lighting, but let's me get started on showing you what you'll need. You will need... Sorry, Moss Hold on a minute. Let me get it out here. One of the main things that you will need, of course, is a cage. I have the Critter Unit, I'm at the... Critter Starter Habitat, Critter Trail Starter Habitat, as you can see there, this is uh, where the sticker was at, but uh, it peeled off when I was washing it. Next, we have a wheel. Oops, sorry, sorry, my room's kind of a mess, I got to clean. Next, we have our wheel here. I have a silent spinner. You, it, This one was uh, $10.99 for the small one. Um, it makes about, hold on a minute doesn't make too much noise you guys will be able to hear it in a minute hold on set it up here okay there it is you might be able to hear that a little bit that's what it sounds like basically and he likes it at first he wouldn't run in it um and i will show you the star of the show or uh video in a minute next you will need Normally, these type cages come with food dish, a water bottle, and a wheel. My wheel uh, started screaming after like six months of having him, which it's about that time. It's about six months. And um, I just bought him this wheel, and he didn't really like it, so I started putting graphite in the other wheel. Then it started screaming again, so I made him like this wheel, and he likes it. Right now, I'm out of food, but he still has enough. Had enough for last night, and tonight I'm gonna use some of my mom's hamster food or my uh, sister's. But um, it came with this yellow um food dish here. Um, you generally only want to give him one to two, not over three scoops of food. Um, the maximum would be three scoops, and the um minimum would be a, one scoop. Um, they only need a little bit of food. Um. And they'll eat it. And by the way, the silent spinner, you can hook it uh, with a peg on the back. It has it comes with pegs, or you can hook it on your metal cage. But I um, like the pegs because it doesn't make as much noise. Next, another thing you'll need is um, you don't need this, but some type of chew toy. Um, now you can see it a little bit better. Um, the, you definitely, you don't technically need them. Um, mine came with a chew toy um, when I got him because she, uh, the lady said they needed chew sticks. So, I've had this. He's only bit on it maybe a couple times. I've had this for about six months. And it's orange. And he really doesn't like it. Uh, it doesn't have flavor, so he will not eat it. It just sits in there and I haven't thrown it away. Same with this one. Um, he's been on it a couple of times, doesn't really like it. It's just a little, like what you would use to, you know, if you've ever watched the Hamster Helper on, uh, um, YouTube. They show you how to make a, um, hamster swing set. The, you can use these chew sticks. Next, my mom gave me one of these flavorful chew sticks as you can see i broke it i put one in his playpen and the other one here and he chewed all the icing off of it and is chewing it up because as you know hamster's teeth never stop growing 
Another thing you'll need is, is a water bottle. Here's my water bottle. Um, it's a good water bottle. It came with the cage. Um, doesn't really drip. You can hit the little ball thing on the bottom of it, like twice, and then wipe the edge of it. It won't drip anymore. So it's a good water bottle. Um, the next thing that I would recommend you getting, you don't technically need it, because you can just use a little toilet paper roll, but is a hideout. Here's the hideout. This is my hideout, or his hideout. Um, it used to hang from the top of the cage. He didn't like how it swings, so I put it in his corner where his wheel is at, and he likes to sleep in there during the day, because as you know, hamsters are nocturnal. Next, what you should do is, is if you don't feel like investing in the money of getting one of those, you can also make it one out of cardboard, um, like a, a box, like a little old cereal box, or like a Coke can box or whatever, and make a nice little hideout for them. Or you can just use a regular old toilet paper roll. Um, toilet paper won't hurt them, but I always try to get all the excess uh, toilet paper off before I let him use it, because I don't want him to get hurt. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to keep the hideouts in here. I'm going to show you my hamster. Come on, Masa. Oops, sorry. Let me put him over here in the light so you can see him better. There he is. Um, hold on. Put him over here. You can kind of see him. I can't really tell. There he is. Let me take him out so you can see him better. He's a Chinese dwarf hamster. He's a really, really good hamster. Like I said, I'm sorry about the lighting. And there he is. Let me put him down before he gets activated. There he is. He, he, sorry, that's my tech window belt. He really likes that. Um, I let him get out and run around. But um, he doesn't really like it um, if I mess with him too much. I mean, he does. He, he loves to let me mess around with him. But um, I'm going to put him back before he gets a little bit too agitated. And what I like to do is, is I've always done this. I let him climb up the cage. And if he's on a high surface, I always keep my hand like this just in case he falls. He yeah, just goes right in. Um, now that you guys have seen what, I, what you need for your hamster, another good purchase would be... Um, like, a lot of people think a good purchase would be is if you get, like, one of these cages, plastic, these little plastic things on the side, you can get tubes. I would not recommend getting a tube cage where I have, like, a bunch of tubes or even buying the tubes for your hamster because they're very hard to clean and, um, your hamster could get upper respiratory problems. Um, the next thing that you should, and then at the top, they also have these little things that pop out right here. Um, so yeah, um, also, the, another thing that you might want to do is, is that make sure that if you do get a cage with a tube in it, it's okay to have a tube on the side, like right, like right here, I guess on the side, so he can climb up into a hideout, um, because those are fairly easy to clean, and I'm pretty sure, and... It might just be a good purchase, so you don't got to worry about buying a hideout. Um, at PetSmart right now, if you live in Fredericksburg, Virginia, PetSmart, um, Fredericksburg, Virginia, uh, and Carlo D. Silver Parkway, which is in Central Park, that PetSmart there, they're having a sale right now, so if you check the date, uh, the sale is, is that, uh, like one of the pieces of the sale is, is they have, uh, um, a pretty decent cage for twenty two ninety nine. Um, it's got a little tube where it can go up into a hideout. Um, like I said, just on the side and stuff like that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. Hope this helps.